Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you the easiest and legal way to update your Windows 11 to 24H2. And if you are facing an issue during the update, Windows update stack or it is slow, I will show you how to solve those issues. So let's start. First of all, to check our Windows version, simply search for win ver and enter as you can see that we have already updated our windows to 24h2 the first requirement for updating our windows 11 to 24h2 is that our windows should be licensed under the microsoft software license term if our product is licensed then Simply search for Windows Update. We will click on Windows Update setting. The first setting which you should turn it on, this option get the latest update as soon as they are available. If this option is off in your cases, you have to turn this option on. Once you turn this option on after 15 minutes, or 20 minutes you will receive a message here that updates are available once you turn on this one you can check for updates if we see our update history you can see on 9th November we have updated Windows 11 version 24 H2 to check for updates the Windows update requires two things. The first, a good and stable internet connection. If you have a stable internet connectivity, you can check for updates. To check your internet connectivity or your internet speed, simply open RAN and write ncpa.cpl. To check speed of our Wi-Fi, simply double click on it. As you can see, the speed of our Wi-Fi is 325 MB per second, which is good. Now, if we check our LAN connectivity, again, we will open RAN and we will type ncpa.cpl. And you can see the speed is 1 GB per second. So, first of all, the first requirement is we have to have a stable internet connectivity to get Windows updates. The second requirement for getting Windows update is we have to have at least 30 to 40 GB free space in our drive C. If we open our file explorer, then our computer, in our drive C, we have to have at least 30 to 40 GB free space. If you don't have free space in your drive C, you can delete some extra file or you can transfer some extra file to some other drives. You can delete some temporary file by opening RAM and writing TEMP temp and enter. You can delete these files or you can again open run and write percentage temp and enter you can delete these files so if you have both 30 to 40 gb free space and a stable internet connectivity you can check for updates your windows will be updated but if still the windows updates are slow or it stacks i will show you two different methods that will solve your problem first of all open any of the browser here we have chrome open your browser and search for windows update fixer enter on the second link which is update fixer simply click on it 
here is the details about Windows Update Fixer, the screenshot how it works, and uh, key features. To download this lightweight portable app for Windows, simply click on this link. It is around 2 or 3 MB. As you can see, it is 2 MB. Click on it. Yes. We will click on Analyze. As you can see here, in my cases, it gives me 1 recommended fixes plus 10 optional fixes. But in your case, it might give you 2 or 3 recommend fixes plus 10 optional fixes. You can take the recommend fixes and fix Windows Update. If still Windows Update didn't fix, then you can go for optional fixes. Clear temporary files. Reset Windows host files. Re-enable Windows Update settings and disable software that block windows updates again windows updates and background intelligence transfer service and last one then you can click on fix windows updates it will take some time after Completing Windows Update Fixer, you can restart your computer. After restarting your computer, you will receive a notification. Then you can search for Windows Updates. If still Windows Updates are stuck or it is slow, I will show you one more option. Simply open Run and type GP Edit dot m s c and enter then on computer configuration click on administrative templates then on network double click on network again on quality of service package scheduler double click on it on limit reservable bandwidth Double click on it and first of all enable it. As you can see bandwidth limit is 80. You can make it from 95 to 100. You can make it 98 or 100 and apply OK. Now you can check for updates. Once you are Windows updated then you have to Go back and search for gpedit.mec on administrative templates, on networks, quality of service packet, limit reserve bandwidth. You have to make it 80, then not configured. Apply. Okay. So, this was all for today's video. Hope this method helps you to get the Windows updates. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumb and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video. Thank you.